It's all a conical funnel of diameter 23.2 <clears throat> and depth 42 cm uh, contains water that's filled to the brim. Okay, so we know that uh, conical funnel means that you probably will look something like that. It's still a cone, just inverted. Diameter to be 23.2. I'm just going to leave the units out first, huh? okay? And the water of depth 20, 42 cm. Contains water that's filled to a brim. All right, so I'm pouring this water into a cylindrical tin. The cylindrical tin is of diameter 16.2 centimeters, right? So I do not know how high this, uh, or how what's the height of this tin here, but what I know is I'm pouring the uh, height the volume of the cone, right, the water inside into this tin. Okay, so if the tin has to contain all the water, I want to find out the least possible height, okay, to contain, uh, giving my answer correct to the nearest integer. So first of all, I think the thing we need to do is to find out how much volume of water we are pouring in, right? Okay, so we're looking at cone. So this cone, we know that the for, for, uh, volume formula for the cone is one third times pi r squared times height. So let's go ahead and find out. So the volume of the code, aka which is the volume of the water we are going to pour, one third times pi r square times height. Now we know this formula. Again, you should memorize this formula by now. Okay, so very quickly, this will be one third. Okay, times uh, pi multiplied by r square. So your r square here would be 23.2 divided by uh, 2, okay, will be 23.2 divided by 2 square, okay, because remember that this 23.2 represents the diameter, so to find the radius, to find the r, we have to divide it by 2, so they know 23.2, this is your radius square, okay, make sure the 2 is also inside the square, right, uh, multiply by the height, so the height here is 42, Okay, so doing this calculation, you should be able to obtain the answer to be 1883.84 uh, high cm cube. It will tell you that the volume of the water here you're looking at is 1883.84 high cm cube. So of course, you notice that because this is an intermediate step, so that's why what we are doing is uh, I didn't evaluate the pi. Uh, this is to make the answer more uh, detailed, right? And to have more significant figures. Now I'm going to pour this into my tin, right? So when I pour it into the tin, right, it's going to be occupying a certain height. So how do I find the height? Now, here we are looking at the tin. The tin is a cylinder. We know that if we are going to calculate the volume in the tin, all right, the volume basically uh, would be pi r square, uh, and this square uh, multiplied by height. So take note, the radius here represents the volume of the tin here, not the volume of the cylinder. Okay, I'm talking, uh, not, not volume of the cone, sorry, volume of the cylinder here. Okay, so I'm referring to this. So the volume, remember, we are pouring the same amount of volume water in. Okay, so we are pouring this from the cone, into the cylinder, which will tell you that the volume of the water inside the tin now is going to be 1883.84 pi. This will be equal to pi multiplied by the radius. So the radius of the tin, it will be 16.2 divided by 2 because this is a diameter, all right? 16.2 divided by 2 squared, multiplied by the height, okay? So volume of the same uh, water is poured into the tin, cylindrical. Volume of cylinder is pi r squared times height. Now the volume doesn't change, you don't spill a single drop. Pi r squared, this r is the radius of the tin, cylinder tin, all right? And here, find the least possible height of the tin. So in order for me to contain all the water without overflowing, this height 
has to have a certain uh, lower bound. So my height must be at least this amount in order to contain. This is the lowest, lowest possible. And my height can be higher, but here I minimally will need this height in order such that my, my, my volume of the tip okay, is able to contain all the volume of the water coming from the cone. Okay, so from here, we can find our height. We just take uh, 1883.84 pi uh, divided by pi. Quite nicely, you can see that. So sorry, times uh, 16.2, this will just be 8.1 square. And your answer turned out, will turn out very nicely to be about 27, 8.7 cm to 3, 6 feet. Now, since the question has asked us to leave the answer to the nearest integer, uh, I'm going to choose it as 28 point, uh, 29. Okay, minimally 29 cm for me to contain all the water coming from the code. Okay, so that's all for this question. Thank you very much.